This one tip literally separates the casual player from the pro player. Tunnel vision. That's all I'm going to say. Now, there is going to be some live coaching gameplay to resonate what I'm saying in this video, so be sure to stick around for that. One thing that pro players are always doing is looking around, and specifically at their attackers. What movements are they making? Are they coming to receive the ball? Are they making a run? Can I make the pass or do I need to hold on to it? These are the sorts of things that you need to take into consideration when you are attacking in FIFA 23. Because if you just focus on the player, on the ball, you will lose out every single time. Now I'm going to use an example from my coaching academy. You can get coaching from me one on one if you do want to be coached on FIFA. There's many testimonials proving how people have essentially improved drastically on the game after receiving coaching, so check it out. But in this situation, I noticed my client wasn't looking around. He wasn't looking at his striker's movements. He wasn't looking for passing options that were further away. He was just looking at passing options that were relatively close to him, and he was being tunnel visioned. I pulled him up on it and I said, you need to start looking at the strikers and hitting their feet when they are available. And just look what happened once he started to do that. Come wide now. There it is. Now let's bring it back to the middle quickly now. No, come back through Bellingham. You've got to look around. You've got, you've, got, you've got to look around. You can't just be... When you're playing with this formation, you can't be tunnel vision. Because if you're tunnel vision, you're not going to see the passing options that are available. But if you're looking around, you're always going to see a pass. You just need to take your time, suss it out, and boom, 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 boom. You know? Look around. Good. See, if you looked around, you looked ahead there, the strikers are available. That's the sort of thing you need to look at. There you go. Look at that now. Unlucky. Oh, you got it back, luckily. Come back through. Bang. 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 Look ahead at the strikers. The strikers are available. There you go. There you go. There you go. That's what you, you you need to look around. You can't just focus on the player on the ball, okay? So as you see, he was less tunnel visioned. He was looking around. Once he started looking at the movements of his strikers and actually being proactive in the attack and attempting to find their feet, that is when he prevailed and he ended up scoring a goal. That's enough evidence in itself, in my opinion. It just proves how important it is. You need to be looking around. Every pro player does this. Tets, Anders, and beyond. Whoever it is, they're always looking around and attempting to see where the best passing option is, not just around the player on the ball. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, then I'd really appreciate it if you hit the subscribe button. And lastly, if you do want any pre-gaming fuel or supplement, then head over to atpscience.com, which is the first link in the description, and use the code AussieFIFA at checkout to get yourself a discount. Not only is it the cheapest way to get supplements, but it helps me out a ton, guys, so thank you.